Now, on a second lead story today, days after some opposition parties participating in the Mauritanian constitutional dialogue threatened to withdraw if the original agenda was not respected, a major player in the whole dialogue, the PPA party, have decided to call it quits by suspending their participation. Now, earlier the opposition slammed the government saying that revising and lifting of the two-term clause for a sitting president would favor the incumbent, Mohamed Uld Abdulaziz, extend his stay in office for another term. The official closing ceremony of the National Dialogue is planned for next Thursday. The stakeholders had extended for the second time the duration of the works to deepen and broaden discussions on important points of the agenda which had not been sufficiently reviewed. I must also say that the dialogue was boycotted by the FNDU party, which has some of the country's main opposition parties, including the Assembly of Democratic Forces. The People's Progressive Alliance, led by Mesoud Uld Bourquer, removed itself from the dialogue due to the state statements made by the government spokesman in relation to term limits. Mohamed Lemin Ul Sheikh had said that the term limit is an undemocratic principle and that it was the government's intention to proceed with the revision of the locked issues to respond to the will of the people who are above the constitution. We, are now, we now speak to the Secretary General of the People's Progressive Alliance Party, Laji Traore, joining us from Nuakchot in Mauritania. Hello, Mr. Traore. What exactly are your claims? against the government. Vous savez, aujourd'hui, en Afrique, euh, c'est le dialogue pour pouvoir consolider la démocratie. You know, in Africa today, when we initiate dialogue, it's in order to strengthen the gains of democracy. Mauritania, like other African countries, faces many problems and we engaged in a dialogue based on a number of very important issues in the country. In this sense, we had three major themes. First, the consolidation of democracy. Economic and financial governance. And thirdly, a certain number of issues on the coexistence of the national communities, slavery and its aftermath, and other social problems, such as the importance of education and introduction of the national languages in the national system, in the school system. So it was fundamental for us and for the country. And suddenly we realized that the government, the ruling party, wanted to introduce issues that were not at all in, in the agenda, such as a third term, uh, another, uh, such as the term limits, change of the flag, change of the national anthem, which in reality will create a third republic. We have said it's not the subject of the inclusive national dialogue. There are more urgent issues that we should have focused on. Well, for the time being, these issues had not been introduced. Isn't it premature to suspect President Abdel Aziz or the presidential majority of wanting to put an end to term limits? Madam, I won't talk much about the third, uh, about the term limits. Because we are in Pointe Noire in Congo, you know the challenge that faces Africa today, the smooth or pre peaceful democratic transition to power, the undefined extension in, term, in, terms, in terms of power is not democracy according to our point of view, and we were for the two term limits of five years each, that's it. We have provisionally withdrawn. Our party will meet tomorrow to make a final decision. But we already think that we who are very committed to this dialogue will get out of it, if at all we'll do that. But if there will be some positive results, and that's what we want, we are not arrogant. We, we could eventually participate in the elections. But if they try to disrupt the institutions of the republic, naturally we will not participate in the coming elections. Well, that was uh, Laji Traore speaking to us about the whole Mauritanian.